Hello, fellow humans. Welcome to Lone Star Land, your guide to Texas real estate and all things Texas. I'm Bruce, your independent Texas broker, landowner, and inspector. With over 20 years experience, I've assisted thousands of buyers and sellers in achieving their real estate goals. Whether you're new to Texas, moving within the state, or just curious about Texas events, communities, where to go, what to do, you're in the right place. With Texas annually boasting a majority of the top 10 fastest growing cities in the U.S., multiple geoclimates, and a plethora of cultures, there's always something exciting to discover. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss our latest updates and tips, and let's explore the Lone Star State together. We're going to take a look here today at some questions and topics regarding renting versus buying for folks who may be considering buying, but you think you know, buying a home is too much trouble or too expensive, and we're going to cover some of these topics. So right here, we're just kind of at my website with some of charts. So we've got this chart here showing general increase in rent over the past 60 years. Typically rent increases and doesn't go down, right? If it did go down, there would be fewer people actually renting their place and more people just buying. So rent increases and it can sometimes put a strain on your wallet. You know, the worst part is you're paying all that extra money to the landlord and the landlord is getting the equity that you're paying them. And when you move, you don't get to sell the place. You just move and start paying someone else for a place to live. So with that, you know, even just in the past about 20 years, almost, you know, rents gone from about 600 on average to just about 1200. So it's pretty much doubled on average. And this is across the nation, not just here in Texas. So this is a national national average. And in many cases, obviously, in urban areas near big cities and places like that, your rent is going to be considerably higher than 1200 a month, obviously. So that's just something to consider depending on how far out from the city you want to live. And then this next chart here we're going to talk about is equity. So let's say you were going to buy a $40,000 house or $400,000 house. Sorry. So you buy a $400,000 house, you put down 10,000, right? Well, if you put down 10,000 on a $400,000 house, you at that moment have $10,000 worth of equity and the bank, the mortgage lender has $390,000 of equity in your home, right? So they own most of it and you own a little. Well, over time, as you're paying on your mortgage note and the home is increasing in value, right? Then over the years, it increases in value and after about five years, on average, you would anticipate on a $400,000 home in the average American city, average market, right? Obviously, some areas are higher or lower, that your home value would go from about $400,000 up to four eighty three. dollars So that's automatically $83,000 in equity that you've increased, right? So the $83,000 plus the 10,000 that you put down is 93,000 plus however much you've paid on the principal for your home note goes into that too. So after five years, you would have around at least $100,000 typically worth of value on what was a $400,000 house. So then in this case, you know, you've already built some wealth into you know, your real property. Whereas if you're just giving that money to a landlord, then they get all of this and you're still spending tens and tens of thousands of dollars, you know, over time to the landlord. Let's say you have a $1,200 a month rent. Well, in five years, 
that's going to be seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars that you've just handed to a landlord, right? And that you could have been building wealth yourself. So that's something to consider. Keep in mind with those things. And then let's head over here to this other chart. Take a look. So on average, the national average of home in Increasing values in the past, would that be about 34, almost 34 years, is 319%. So what we have is obviously in certain areas of the country, we see that it's grown more exponentially, you know, over five, 600% in increased value there. California is about 320 Texas, we're about 344, almost 345 on our increase here. So, you know, and that's just over 30 years, the increased value. So that's you know, over three times increase in 30 years. And that, that makes sense for Texas because generally in Texas, we have on average what I call the rule of seven, basically. What that means is as the property values increase approximately 7% per year as a whole, right? And then as that compounds 7% and then 7% and 7% year over year, in 10 years, that compounding is going to pretty much double where you started. So you're almost doubling. It's around 95 to 98%. That with a 7% increase in value, you're going to just about double your value every 10 years. And then it'll double again the next 10 years and the next 10 years. And that's where this 344% fits in with the almost 30 years, 33 years right there. So that makes sense. And that confirms my hypothesis. Well, that so keep that in mind. Obviously, there are some areas in high value corridors, like here in North Texas, we have some areas. Let's scroll down here. Some areas in North Texas. Get my little drawing tool over here. So, the parts of North Texas that are really growing are between Denton, I'm gonna change my color here so I can actually see it on this chart. Let's change this to bright red, magenta pink. We'll do that for this one. So this area from about I-35 and up 121 is really growing quite a bit. And then when you get in even tighter, clear that up. So from 35, get that off of there. Get that off of there. Okay, there we go. We can see that now. Okay. So from around 35, down around 121, 380, Frisco. McKinney, a little bit east out towards Greenville, but predominantly this area up along 121. This area in here is growing exponentially in value. There's just the tollways going up. You've got Salina and Prosper and Gunter and 289, which is Preston Road, goes up through there. And so this area here is growing quite a bit. And then in value, it's where they're planning the tollway expansion, this area right in here between 75 and the tollway is going even more exponentially. So you're getting more than a 7%, you know, some of these properties and land in particular and even homes are gaining in value. They're doubling in three or four or five years or less 
in many cases in this place. So I've got a lot of clients looking for land right here in that high expanse corridor just because it's where everything's growing. You know, we've got lots of stuff going on right up here in the Frisco area. They're building the um, new Universal Studios Park right here. McKinney's growing. A lot of stuff's growing up. This 121 corridor land values are going up out here too. So there's a lot going on here in North Texas. And so if you're looking for good investment property, this is obviously a great place to start. You're going to get less acreage for more money, but you will probably have a higher return on value, return on investment looking in this area. Whereas if we head towards East Texas, there's still some areas that are growing, you know, closer to Greenville and you know, out in this area. So it's kind of growing well towards the east and the northeast. And obviously this area in here is seeing lots of growth on that. And with that, you know, some folks are still looking to the east because, you know, they want to get out of the city, kind of DFW flight, right? So folks are moving east. I sell a lot of land out that direction as well. And I live over here. So with all that in mind, let's see, pull this back up. We've got lots of properties available throughout North and East Texas, you know, even to Louisiana here. But as you zoom in, coming down I-30 and I-20, you know, there's a lot in this area that's for sale. Prices in Texas are still reasonable. Yes, they're going up, but overall, prices in Texas are still very reasonable for homes and land. So, for example, on my website, when you're looking at my site, which is LoneStarland.us, on my site, the little blue dots are going to be houses. The green ones will be land. And the gray is going to be commercial. All right. And then the purple is going to be multifamily, like uh, apartments and places like that. Right. So, let's see. So, yep, well, apartments or duplexes, that kind of thing. So they're kind of color co coordinated as you're looking through my site on here. So there's a lot available in North and East Texas. And, you know, we've got all kinds of price ranges. These are currently on this map that we're looking at. These are sorted just by newest properties that have recently come on the market. So yeah, if you're looking to buy or sell real estate, we've got some great options out here. So you can even go to get this out of the way. So if you would like to set up an appointment to chat and discuss whether selling or buying is right for you, head to my website, which is just lonestarland.us right there. And then you know, if you're thinking about selling, I've got a little flip through seller's guide here that you can view. If you'd like to do that, it's got all kinds of information about how we can help you and um, help you meet your real estate needs on selling your property. From that, you can book an appointment or from our homepage. If you'd like to chat more about some of the options with buying or selling, scroll down here to the video chat or keep scrolling down past some of our listings to the book an appointment and from here just click on that and it's available through your phone as well and pick a time and day that works well for you and you can schedule a video chat with me and we can discuss some of your real estate goals i have great contacts with lenders folks who loan on land and homes and both and commercial and investment properties, multifamily, retail, all kinds of um, lending options. And so that's kind of 
what you can look forward to. If you want to chat, we can kind of discuss what options are best for you. And if now's the right time, if it's not, then it's not. And we'll just keep in touch and be friends and work with you when the time is ready. But that's what we've got for now. That's kind of what's going on with the current market. And if you think now's a good time to get out of that rental and buy a place, or if you want to sell and move somewhere else, you know, we have lots of options. We can help you with that. Look forward to chatting with you. And thanks so much for listening to our little video here. Have a great day. Here's a quick reminder to hit that like button, subscribe and share with folks who will appreciate learning about Texas real estate and life in the Lone Star State. Check that link in the description to schedule a video chat with me, and we hope to hear from you soon.